Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel and the 12 days of Christmas from scrapbook.com. Every day on this 12 days of Christmas, there is a freebie, free gift for you that you just throw in your cart. And today's free gift is this super duper cute art impressions stamp set. So you have this snowman and this cute little sentiment and we're gonna play with it today. I decided that I have not used alcohol inks slash markers for this technique in a long time. So I pulled out some Yupo paper and Yupo paper, if you don't know, is like a synthetic paper. So it's like plasticky and it allows the alcohol ink to smoothly move around on it. Now there's lots of techniques out there with alcohol inks. I chose to pull out some Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and make this really fun ombre bluish background. I am starting with dark at the top and working my way down. And as you can see that one color in there is a little bit too um, far away from the spectrum. So I went back and you wanna be careful because um, the more you go over it, the more you're gonna start to see kind of streakiness. Uh, it's not like blending on regular cardstock. So just be aware of that. So on this one, I believe I just went over with one time of the colors um, where the blue one, I kind of went back and forth quite a bit. So I have the colors, I'm putting them aside to dry just a little bit. I'm pouring this alcohol blending solution into this mini mister that I have, and I am spraying it down. So the soft sprays came out nice, but then I got a bunch of little globbies there in the lower right-hand corner. Looks cool, it's just not what I was going for at the moment. So I decided to put that technique aside with the alcohol blending solution and take out the blue panel and do some just snowflakes just some blizzardy snowflakes. And so I used some Ranger picket fence paint and a paintbrush and an acrylic block. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just flicking it on. Now, I don't want just your soft, flowy snow drifts coming down. I want in your face blizzard because I think that that's the most fun. And um, plus the sentiments and my snowman. So I just chock full, lots of snow on there. And then I did the same thing with the purple panel. Now I don't know many skies that are purple like that, but it's creative art. We can do what we want, okay? So here I am taking my image and I'm using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and I'm just stamping that out. And I am going to color with my Nouveau Drops. I thought this would be a lot of fun to try. It's a small image, meaning the intricacies of the design are small, and I thought that wouldn't be too difficult to fill up with some Nouveau Drops. I only usually ever use my Nouveau Drops for dots, but today I thought, let's give it a go. And the end result for me was so much fun. Now I will tell you as I'm picking out my colors here and I'm filling this in, I got some cracking with the Nouveau Drops at the end when it was dry but I didn't mind and the cracking happened on the snowman's body. To me, that just made it look a little bit more icy. So I liked it, I thought it turned out really great. And so just be aware of that though, as you're trying this technique, that I, I think I've heard it depends on your environment, like the climate in your environment, whether or not they'll crack. But if you all know any other tips to prevent the cracking, please let us know, that'd be great to share. So I'm, added the um, the white or the blizzardy Nouveau drops to my uh, snowman's body. And then I'm going in here with some of this aqua color. All the stuff will be listed below, by the way. But um, And I'm just going to fill in my little scarf there. I did not have orange Nouveau drops, which, of course, we all know that the nose is usually orange. However, that's just a reason for me to go shopping because now I need orange Nouveau drops. <laughs> See, you identify a gap in your crafting supplies and you just must go fill that gap. So here I've taken out some Lawn Fawn glitter cardstock, which is just beautiful, and I've cut down four snow banks and those are using the Lawn Fawn Hillside border dies. And I'm just gonna try to figure out how I want the placement here. I have placed down two of those snow drifts at the bottom. Now the design layout of these cards is all the same. And I even throw in a third card at the end because I colored up three of these snowmen. This one is the Nouveau Drops snowman. Then I colored in with Arteza markers the other two. 
So I'm laying him down flat with some Nuvo glue. And look at this roll of scrapbook.com uh, double-sided adhesive. Are you kidding me? This roll is awesome. It's huge. <laughs> so I get two backgrounds or backings of my cards with just one quick snip of this roll. My goodness. I love it. And the, the adhesive is amazing. So I am going to put that on a black mat for both of them. And that's going to combat some of that warping that happened because I, you'll see this, uh, the sentiments are white and black, hot mess white and black, because it did not work out the way I intended. So I had to go back right here and I am re-stamping with Versamark ink. And then I'm going to heat emboss that with white embossing powder because my original trying to do it straight onto the UVO paper was just not ideal. And then I tried to heat set it and it warped the paper a little bit. So this is what I would recommend. I love the way it came out. Very good. And I love the black on or the white on black, the stark look. And then I just cut them out myself. And I cut them out kind of around the wording so it looked like a die cut. And, you know, so don't underestimate that idea because... You could do that with any of your sentiments. So then on the third card here, I used some background paper, pattern paper I had, using my corner rounder to just give that a softer look and just stamp the sentiment directly onto the snowman um, card. And then here I like this red backing, just some red cardstock I had in my stash. This is, uh, I believe, Stampin' Up. And then I am going to place this down with some liquid adhesive. So that one will finish off the third card. So I have very different color schemes for the three of these cards and I honestly love all of them. I would probably say the Nouveau Drop one is my favorite because it's so different for me. So there you go. Here's some close-ups of the cards. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out with me. Don't forget to head over to scrapbook.com. This is a freebie today. You heard me say that correctly. Throw it in your cart, get some of the other fundamentals you need, it's going to be awesome. I am so excited about this sale. And we, I will list everything I use below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Find me on other forums. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.